Hi, my name is J.R. Tallman, and in this NetSuite tutorial, I'm going to run through how to configure and use vendor prepayments within NetSuite. The vendor prepayments feature records and tracks payments to vendors before they accept a PO, which then can be applied manually or automatically to a vendor bill later on. In addition, we can create a vendor bill standalone without a PO and apply a vendor prepayment to it. The first thing we're going to want to do is to enable the vendor prepayments functionality underneath Setup, Company, and Enable Features. I am using a development account in the administrator role, so you will need to have permissions to enable this functionality. This does come out of the box within NetSuite. You just simply need to enable it to use the feature. Once you're on the Enable Features page, you can go to the Accounting sub-tab here and scroll down and there will be a Vendor Prepayments field to enable. Now I have already enabled this within my development account, but you'll simply go ahead and check this box off. Once you go ahead and check this box off, there will be a notification to set the Vendor Prepayment GL account when using this functionality, either at the subsidiary level or at the company level, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. So go ahead and check this box off, agree to the pop-up, and then click on Save. Once this has been saved, as mentioned, we're going to want to set a default vendor prepayment account that is set up as an other current asset within your chart of accounts. If you don't already have an account that you want to use for the prepayment, you will need to go ahead and create that within the chart of accounts area underneath list accounting and accounts. Now I've already set a prepayment account up as other current assets, so I'm going to bypass this as part of this tutorial. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Setup Accounting and Accounting Preferences to set that default vendor prepayment account as part of my global preferences. So once you're on the Accounting Preferences page, you can go down here and there will be a area for our vendor prepayment account underneath the Accounts Payable Field Grouping, and you can simply select any other current asset from this dropdown. So I'll go ahead and select my 10401 vendor prepayment account. And then there is another field that says Auto Apply Vendor Prepayments once the feature is enabled. You can go ahead and keep this checked if you want to automatically apply vendor prepayments against a purchase order. However, if you do not want it to auto automatically apply against the purchase order, you can simply uncheck this box. I'm going to keep this checked. And you're going to see how this applies when we create a purchase order. So go ahead and select your account and make sure this is checked or unchecked based on your preferences. Do note that you can also set this account at the subsidiary level. So if you do want to have different accounts per subsidiary, you can go ahead and set it there. But most commonly, we're just going to go ahead and put it at the global level. So once that's set, you can just go ahead and click on save at the top or the bottom of the page. Once we've enabled the feature and set that preference, the next thing we can do is enter a standalone vendor prepayment. So underneath transactions and payables, you will now see a enter vendor prepayment dropdown. Go ahead and select that if you want to go ahead and enter a standalone vendor prepayment to your vendors to pay in advance. Now, once the vendor prepayment page does open, you can go ahead and customize this form. I have not customized this form at all, but you will notice some required fields with the little asterisk here, which is going to be the payee. So the payee is going to be the vendor that we're making this prepayment for. So I'm going to simply select NetSuite as our payee that we're making a payment to NetSuite. All right, once that's selected, the next field is going to be the purchase order. So if you do have a purchase order within NetSuite, you can go ahead and use that drop down and select the purchase order against it, and it will be automatically applied the next time a vendor bill has been created from that purchase order. What you're also going to see in this tutorial is creating a purchase order and then creating the vendor prepayment, which I'll go ahead and go through next. So in this example, this is just going to be a standalone vendor prepayment that will apply against a vendor bill. So we're going to keep this blank, and there is no open purchase orders that I have selected. The next field is going to be the account. Now, since this is a prepayment, we are making payment against our bank account. So we are going to make sure that you select the appropriate account that you are making this prepayment for. Think of this as the AP bill payment within the standard NetSuite functionality. You're then going to go ahead and give it a payment amount. So you can go ahead and select a payment amount here. So I'll put $150. Make sure the currency and exchange rate are set appropriately here. The date of this prepayment and the posting period. The prepayment account will default. You can see this is inline text, so I can't even select it. And then again, just like I mentioned, this is like a uh, vendor bill payment. So you do have the to be printed or voucher. If you do print checks still, you can go ahead and click on the to be printed and this will show up in the print checks and forms area and it will print a check just like you have. If you do have a check number, you can go ahead and populate that here. If you are using electronic payments, you will see the electronic payments functionality on this page, which I do not have installed within this development account, but this can go through electronic payments as well. You have a memo and then your department, class, and location, and then any other segmentation if you use custom segments down below here. Lastly, you're going to see the address that you have selected to pay if you are printing this via check. This will is what will show on the check itself. So once this has been entered, you can go ahead and simply save this vendor prepayment, and this will hit the GL once this has been saved, which I'll show you in just a moment once this saves.
Okay, now this vendor prepayment has been saved successfully, as you can see, and the status is paid. You can have approvals on this. I don't have any approvals turned on. You can also void this prepayment if necessary, just like you would do a vendor bill payment. I'm not gonna go through that, but if you click on void, it will create a voiding entry. However, I do wanna look at the GL impact. So if you hover over actions and GL impact, this will open up the GL impact of that vendor prepayment. And what you can see on the screen here is it is hitting that bank account as posting, and it is hitting that vendor vendor prepayment account that we discussed at the beginning of this tutorial. Now, since this is a standalone vendor prepayment, anytime a bill will come up for NetSuite, we can apply this vendor prepayment manually against that vendor bill. It will not apply automatically against that bill because this is a standard vendor prepayment. The next thing I'm gonna show you is creating a purchase order with a vendor prepayment, and that will automatically apply it. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and create a purchase order for NetSuite. So if I go to transactions, purchases, and enter purchase orders, I am simply gonna enter a purchase order. All right, on this purchase order, I'm gonna select my vendor as NetSuite. And down below here with the items, I'm gonna go ahead and select, let's just say a printer. And we'll put this one for $250 as the rate and amount. And I'm simply just gonna save this purchase order. Now, once this purchase order has been saved, now that we have the vendor prepayment functionality enabled, what you're gonna see, there's gonna be a button on this purchase order once it's been saved, and you can actually click the button to create that vendor bill payment directly against this purchase order. So this purchase order has been saved, and you can see now there is a new button that says enter prepayment. I can simply click that prepayment, and it will open up that same page that we saw when we were entering a standalone vendor prepayment. However, the information above on the left-hand side is automatically populated with that purchase order and the payee. So we'll go ahead and select that same bank account that I used. We'll keep the payment amount as $250, but we could adjust that if necessary, and then feel free to enter any ancillary information to the right-hand side. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna simply click on Save, and the vendor prepayment will be linked against that particular purchase order. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a vendor bill, and we're gonna do the standalone vendor bill application, and then I'm gonna show you the automatic vendor prepayment application. So I'm gonna create a new vendor bill underneath Transactions, Payables, and Enter Bills. And on this vendor bill, I'm gonna simply enter my vendor as NetSuite here. And once I've selected my vendor as NetSuite here, I'm gonna go ahead and select an account down below. And once I select an account here, I'm gonna go ahead and enter an amount. Now I'm gonna enter an amount that is less than that standalone vendor prepayment that we did initially. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this as 100. I'm gonna simply click on add here and save this vendor bill. Now once this vendor bill has been saved and approved, it is ready for a vendor payment. However, since I do have that standalone vendor prepayment, I can apply that prepayment against this vendor bill. On the vendor bill, you might think that you can apply that vendor prepayment directly with the make payment button. However, you are unable to apply that vendor prepayment with the bill payment itself. So if I go to a bill payment record by clicking that make payments, you're not gonna see anything down below here with the apply with that vendor prepayment. I don't love that. Instead, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go back to that standalone vendor prepayment. You can find that underneath transactions, payables, enter prepayment, and list. On the list of vendor prepayments, you're gonna see a status. So the one that we just did at the beginning, which is the standard one, is gonna be this 150. So you can see this 150 right here. If I go and view number three, on here, there is gonna be a button that says apply. So if you click on the apply button at the top of the page of the vendor prepayments, you can then apply this prepayment to a open bill or many open bills. So on the top here, it's gonna default your AP account and then feel free to enter any of the classification information and simply select the bill or bills that you want to apply this against. So in this case, it was less than my entire $150 amount. So I will have an unapplied amount of $50 to apply on a future vendor bill. Once that is done, you can go and click on save. And what this will do is it will then mark off that bill as paid. And then this vendor prepayment application, if you look at the GL impact, this will be hitting your AP account, which you can see here, and that vendor prepayments, it does reduce that initial vendor prepayment GL account. And lastly, if I go back to the vendor prepayment application in the top right hand side for this, this will take me to the application and I can go to the application of right here, there's a hot link back to the original vendor prepayment. And from here, you are able to see what it was applied to underneath the applied to sub tab. So you can see it was applied to a bill. And if I have another bill that this this remaining amount of $50 can be applied to. You will see that down below here. And you can see also this is not open anymore. It is partially applied. Now that's how to apply a standard vendor prepayment against a bill. However, if you do have the auto apply feature enabled and you do have a purchase order, that works a little bit more convenient as it is automatically applied once the bill gets generated. So if I go back to my purchase order and on this purchase order itself, I'm just gonna simply click on bill here. 
In this example, it is 250 and my vendor prepayment was for $250 as well. So I'm going to keep that amount as is. If it's an underpayment or overpayment for that vendor prepayment, it will apply it automatically. But I'm going to simply click on save for this bill. And what will happen is this vendor bill, once it has been approved, you will see that that vendor prepayment is automatically applied. So when this is saved, it should automatically get applied and changed to paid because it will be applied to that vendor prepayment. Perfect. So the status is paid in full. And if I go down to the related records, that vendor prepayment application was automatically applied. If you do need to make any adjustments, you can go to the vendor prepayment application and adjust as necessary. But this is a lot more cleaner. There's no functionality to make sure that you're managing those vendor prepayments if it is standalone, etc. This concludes the tutorial on how to enable and configure vendor prepayments within NetSuite. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any comments down below. Thank you.